I got him a birthday present? You can't get him red suspenders. That would spoil my surprise. Actually, I haven't decided what to get him yet. I thought I might try the used magnet store. Psst. Hey, kid. Who? Me? No, I'm talking to myself. Get over here. Wanna buy an exotic flowering plant? I'm having a special on Venus fly traps. Gee. That's the nicest Venus flytrap I've ever seen. Actually, it's the only Venus flytrap I've ever seen. But I don't know if Mr. Mushnik will like it. How about if I throw in some flies? I never could resist a bargain. <laughs> Getting a birthday present for Mr. Mushnik makes me feel almost like part of the family. Seymour, why aren't you delivering these flowers for the Tournament of Hoses Parade? What do you think I don't pay you for? Happy birthday, Daddy. Red Suspenders. What a surprise. Happy birthday, Mr. Mushnick. Seymour, you shouldn't have. It was nothing, really. No, no, I mean you shouldn't have. I'm up to my neck in flowers already. But thank you very much. It's gorgeous. Now put it where I can't see it. Junior, I'm home! I hope you brought some more. Salami. Darling. Is he talking to me? I've never fallen for anyone like this before. I guess you never know where love is gonna blossom. Shut up already! But sometimes love isn't easy. <sighs> it's like you don't even know I'm alive. How can it know you're alive? It's just an ordinary plant. It? Who you calling it? She's got a name. She does? It's Demila. Venus Demila. Okay. So she's an ordinary plant with a name. So what? Ordinary? Make like a potato and use your eyes. Look at those limbs. Look at those buds. Youch! Look at those teeth. Well, maybe she isn't ordinary, but she still hasn't got a brain. You men are all alike. Just because she's beautiful, you think she can't have a brain? I think that I will never see a lovely little meat-eating tree with leaves so green and buds so full. I've heard of saying it with flowers, but I've never heard it said to a flower. Isn't she bodacious? <sighs> if only there was some way to shake her tree. Maybe you should try making a noise like a fly. That's it. A romantic dinner for two. 
They always play hard to get. Waiter, feed me. I mean, feed her. Your soup, Monsieur. Waiter, there's no fly in my soup. They say love brings out the best in people, but it sure doesn't do much for plants. Feed us. I just come here for the atmosphere. I love a room full of plants. Any requests? How about some eats? Certainly, sir. Maggots a la mode. Nothing's too good for my little honeysuckle. Guess I left them in too long. Ah! Ouch. <laughs> I know dinner was a flop, but for the love of Pete Moss, why don't you at least say something? Anything. She's just a plant, Junior. She doesn't know how to talk. She's just shy. Come on, Demila. Don't be a wallflower. Don't let this meathead think you're some weed from alongside the wrong side of the tracks. Open up and blossom for Junior. Be somebody. Be somebody. Come on and be somebody. Ooh, be somebody. Now you can't be nobody until you find somebody willing to say to you, hey, I got faith in you, me. I'm the one, I'm the friend who can reach you, bring out the real you that's inside who can teach you to be somebody. Come on and be somebody. Come on, be somebody. Be somebody. We got roots, we go back. We got history, Jack. And what blows in our veins energizes our brains, which in turn gives us power to blossom and flower. Hey, I'm talking to you. Am I not getting through? Be somebody. Help you try to be somebody. Give you strength to be somebody. Believe you can be somebody. Ooh. See, what did I tell you? She looks better than ever. She still hasn't said anything. At least now I can go down to the firehouse and help Audrey with the tournament of hoses float. This must be the firehouse. The king will never float. It isn't supposed to float. It's supposed to carry the Fire Queen and her court in the Tournament of Hoses Parade. The Fire Queen is the most beautiful woman in the whole world. Or at least on Skid Row. Am I too late to help? The day I need help from you, Quillborn, is the day I need help. I didn't see you here. I didn't see that stack of two-by-fours either. You see that bucket up there? I can see the inside of it. Combust me internally. It's it's the Fire Queen here. Because you've worked so hard, you've been selected to be Little Miss Fireplug. Me? Your little lady in waiting? Oh, but I'm not worthy. <sighs> It's like some beautiful dream. I'm gonna be in the parade. Me, Audrey Mushnick. <sighs> if only I had a beautiful bouquet like hers, then I'd truly be worthy to stand by her side. I'll get you some flowers from the shop, Audrey. Forget it, Drool Cup. If anybody's gonna get it flowers, it's me. Take a hike, club one. Mushlick gotta have some of that romantic mulch around here somewhere. Nah. <laughs> now I know what they mean by hit record. How do you like those red ones? Sort of the color of inflamed gums. He won't be able to resist these or me. 
Delilah, where are you, my little clean vine? She's gone. Delilah! 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 Like a pile of leaves, gone with the wind. I'm gonna get a bouquet for Audrey. Now he's got me talking to her. I've got to get you home. You like puppy dogs, club one? Yo, time to bite. Quillborn, dog got your tongue. <laughs> Talk about a convenient location. You know, there's just something attractive about a used magnet store. Audrey, I was beginning to think that you weren't really going to get me a bouquet. I am. I, I, I mean, I, I will. It looks like you already have. What have you got there behind your back? Is that a Venus fire trap? It's the Marla and she's taken. What? I mean, I was just faking. She's for you, I can't deny. But can she really eat a firefly? Oh, Junior, what is this going Oh, does he? Oh, oh my Demila. She's my, my Demila. How could you put me in such a position? Oh, thank you for helping me with my ambition. Oh, my Demila, my Demila. Oh, this is the torchiness bouquet anybody ever gave me, Seymour. I'll bring her back to Junior as soon as the parade's over. Maybe he won't even notice she's gone. You think they're ready to put down roots. Then suddenly they up and leap on you. I wish Seymour was here. At least I'd have somebody to take my misery out on. Arson Wells here. I have humbly consented to provide my insights and unique perspective in interpreting this annual tournament of hoses parade. Accompanying me on this endeavor is Scorchy the Wonder Dog. Star of such film classics as Quest for Fire Hydrants and Some Like It with Spots. And finally, the Fire Queen Float. Performing the honors as a Little Miss Fireplug is Miss Audrey... was this? Munchkin? Ah, but what an alluring, enticing bouquet the little urchin carries. Those animals gawking at my Demila, treating her like just another pretty bud. I've got to save her. Isn't this positively pyrotechnic? Sure, it's great, Audrey. But do I have to wear this suit? Oh. Isn't that pain? That must be a great place to watch the parade from. Oh, look! There's Daddy! Where? I can't see anything. Hey, that's my daughter up there. She bought me these suspenders. Don't worry, my little love apple. 
your night is shining chlorophyll is coming to your rescue. Look! TV cameras. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Bum It's me, Seymour, your son. Whoever you are, you can't ride down here. Who's there? You flat exploiter. What do you think you're doing? I'll settle your squash later, you traitor. But first, I gotta whip up some of that old green magic. Gotta end this shameless plant flotation and give these chumps a demonstration of our vegetal magnetic determination. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I tried to bring your mama back. I really did. Bud out. Can't you see I'm driving? Where's the street? Junior, no! Audrey's only got the mileless flowers. The rest of her's back at the firehouse. Then let's make like a leaf and turn. Junior, watch out! I've never seen destruction of this magnitude. Oh, the humanity. Are we alive? Cool as a cucumber, Seymour. You know how to stop this thing. Again, Zeus. That was easy. I guess all it takes is a wall. Where's the Mila? I think I'm sitting on her. What are you? Nuts? That's just a shrub. You've changed. That's what she always looked like under her flowers. She was the first flower of my youth, Seymour. You'll meet someone else, Junior. Yeah. I guess the bloom is off the fly trap. Let them stay there. I'm through with love. Love just makes you stupid, makes you act like a fool. Love is just the greatest, love is totally cool. Love must be a human invention, only they could be so sick. Just gotta get the one I love to love me back, that's the trick. Love is mm, it's really kind of hard to define. Love is some people say. You know what the worst thing about love is? When it ends. <sighs> Your first love ought to be perennial. Don't feel too bad, Junior. We've still got each other. I'd rather eat bugs. Wish I bought that 100-foot ladder I saw the other day. I guess we'll have to borrow one. My feet are starting to hurt. You know, sometimes people in love can disappoint each other. But friends are always ready to forgive and forget. What are you yammering about now? I was just saying you'd understand why I gave Demila to Audrey. I mean, you're in love with Demila, and I'm in love... I mean, w well, I, I kind of like Audrey. I hope you aren't mad. Could I get mad at my best little bud? <laughs> Love at first bite. Resident art experts Bill and Ted believe that as great art goes, the Mona Lisa is the tops. But how did the Mona Lisa get that mysterious smile, that knowing gaze, and what's she doing at the San Dimas Mall? Join the totally tubular time traveling twosome for far out fun on Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures, coming up next right here on Fox.